Hello, children. Here's another program of songs from the United States of America. This afternoon, we've got in the studio Woody Guthrie, who's a very well-known singer of folk songs over here. He tells me that he's been in 45 of the 48 states. Though, at the moment, you're in the Merchant Navy, aren't you, Woody? That's right. Morrison dishes on a liberty ship. <laughs> and uh, during his leave, Woody has come in to make a program for you. Um, let's hear a bit more about your travels. Uh, where did you start? How did it come well, that you were... Well, I got started in Oklahoma. That's where I was born. Population down there is one-third Indians, one-third uh, Negroes, and one-third white people. So I hit the road when I was about 13 years old, doing all kinds of odd jobs all over the country, and... Uh, traveling amongst all these kind of people, and actually picked up a lot of songs and a lot of funny, different versions of, of uh, a lot of folk songs and ballads. And I've been traveling all around at depots and bus stations and waterfronts and cafes and everything else, saloons, picking up nickels. <laughs> well, um, Woody said that he'd like to sing your program about trains. So, uh, shall we have the first one, Woody? What was it going to be? First one's going to be about the best train song, and I know right now in the United States it's being sung. The name of it is the Wabash Cannonball. I stood on the wide Atlantic and the broad Pacific shore, saw the queen of the flowing mountains, the south fell by the door. She's long and tall and handsome, and she's loved the one and all, and a modern combination called the Wabash Cannonball. Listen to the jingle and the rumble and the roar As she comes around the woodlands, the lakes, and by the shore Hear that mighty rushing engine, hear that lonesome hobo squall She's rolling through the jungle on that Wabash cannonball Well, she rolled down to Memphis on a cold December day When she pulled into the station, you could hear the people say There's that gal from Birmingham, she's long and she's tall just roll down to Memphis on the Wabash Cannonball. Well, your eastern states are dandies, the western people say. From New York to St. Louis, Chicago, by the way. To the lakes of Minnesota, where the rippling waters fall. And you find them by no other than the Wabash Cannonball. Here's to Daddy Claxton, may his name forever stand. He's honored and respected all over Dixieland. If his earthly race is over and the curtains round him fall, we'll ship him back to glory on that Wabash cannonball. So listen to the jingle, the rumble, and the roar. She glides along the woodlands, the lakes, and by the shore. Hear that mighty rushing engine, hear that lonesome hobo squall. She's rolling through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball. Thank you. And what are you going to sing to us next? Next song I'm going to sing is one of the oldest, longest, lonesomest songs I heard. I heard this years ago. Uh, I used to hear my dad sing it, and I've heard Indians sing it, and Negroes sing versions of it. And uh, the name of it's 900 Miles From Home. Well, I'll pawn you my wagon and I'll pawn you my team. Pawn you my watch and my chain. If this train runs right, I'll see my woman Saturday night. I'm tired of living this way. And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow. Well, that train I ride on, she's a hundred coaches long. You can hear the whistle blow a hundred miles. If that train's on time, I'll see that little woman of mine. Cause I'm tired of living all alone And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow Well, I'm walking down this track I've got tears in my eyes Trying to read a letter from my home 
If this train don't jump the track To my woman it'll carry me back Cause I'm tired of living like a dog